Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. Today we are starting a brand new CD series 4 called Applications of Trigonometry. This is episode number 1. Friends, in the last CD series 3, we learned for the first time what is trigonometry. We learned a whole world about trigonometry. So now our focus on series 4 is really applications of what everything that we have learned about trigonometry. How can we really use that body of knowledge and apply them for solving real life, real world questions? So let's do a very quick recap on the, the big topics that we learned about trigonometry in series three. We learned about what is trigonometry. We learned about what is meant by trigonometric ratios of an angle. We know there are six trigonometric ratios. And whenever we talk about trigonometric ratios, we talk always about trigonometric ratios of a particular angle in a right triangle. Then we learned about what kind of questions we can expect on trigonometric ratios of an angle. And more importantly, how do we go and solve those questions? So we covered those in three videos. We then moved on to learn about trigonometric ratios for these very specific angles. We actually went through each one of them. That is six trigonometric ratios for zero degree angle. What are they and how we can find out those values? 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree, and 90 degrees. Then we learned about what kind of questions we may be getting on trigonometric ratios for these standard angles and how do we solve them. We did that in two videos. We then moved on to learn about trigonometric ratios for complementary angles. That is, we know that in a right triangle, one angle is 90 degree and the other two angles are complementary. So using that knowledge, we learned about not only we can actually solve questions involving standard angles, but we can also look at solving questions for that involve trigonometric ratios of complementary angles and we did that over two videos. Finally friends we completed the series by talking about trigonometric identities and then solving questions that were related to trigonometric identities. So I really hope that you have gotten a chance to take a look at all of those uh, videos that we have learned earlier uh, in series 3. And for your easy reference, I'm going to provide appropriate links and URLs here in this video as a pointer for you to be able to quickly click and then access those videos. But like I said, our focus on series four in this series is really going to be addressing really the applications of the trigonometry to solve real world questions.